What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with another reaction and in this one we have India's plan to dominate the global semiconductor space. I'm so glad, uh, so excited to jump into this. Before we do, however, if you would like to support the channel by becoming a member, all you got to do is smack that join button to receive your exclusive benefits. Let's hear from Paki Sharma, see what we got. Tonight we want to talk about semiconductors or chips. They're shaping mm -hmm. our present and they will define our future. India wants to be a semiconductor powerhouse. By 2029, India wants to be oh. among the, the world's top five chip producers. The top five in the next five years. It's an ambitious target, but it is a goal worth chasing. Our world today runs on chips. They power every modern day gadget oh. that we use. But chip production is a complicated process and a clutch of companies control the world's chip supplies. Although that is set to change because global supply chains are being remade and India is in a unique position to capitalize. Ooh. The United States agrees with this assessment. Today it welcomed India into a new chip partnership. It's a US led initiative run by the State Department. It has seven members of partners, Costa Rica, Indonesia, oh, Kenya, Mexico, Panama, the Philippines, and Vietnam. Today, India became the eighth partner in this alliance. And what does New Delhi stand to gain from this? For starters, American investment to build India's semiconductor ecosystem. The Americans nice. are expected to focus on two areas. The first is semiconductor assembly, where India puts together the various pieces, testing the final chip and then shipping it to the rest of the world. So that's the okay. first focus area, chip assembly. The second uh -huh. area is training, oh. sharing technological know-how with Indian engineers. Now, these are the two things that the U.S. wants to work on, chip assembly and sharing technology. The actual investment may take some time to materialize. They will start mm -hmm. with some assessments. Basically, to evaluate India's current chip ecosystem, where do we stand to identify the gaps and to see where investments may be needed. Now, this could mm. range from workforce development to infrastructure needs. And once this okay. assessment is done, India and the U.S. will finalize joint initiatives. And we must add here that New Delhi needs all the support it can get in this field because mastering chip manufacturing is not easy. It's a highly complex process. The first step is design and that alone can take years. I feel like it's really amazing. Uh, first and foremost, seeing the US and India partner up on this. Uh, I think that's truly awesome. Uh, I think it's amazing for India to jump, wanting to uh, have the ambition to jump into that top five uh, and being a semiconductor powerhouse and being top five distributors, is that what I believe she said? Um, by 2029, distributors of the semiconductor chip. Uh, but them and US partnering together, so I guess the, what the US is offering is assembly, or is assembly taking place in India, and then US is offering kind of know-how when it comes to chip design and things of that nature. Uh, and the US kind of wants to see how India does with it before I guess they make their investment so it may take time for the initial investment to materialize like she said while they see how india does with with semiconductor chips and everything and american kind of i guess see where the investment is needed or where the help is needed i guess coming from that sense i'm not too too smart when it comes to investing and countries investing in each other uh, different businesses and everything but uh, I think this will really be awesome. But we'll let the, the, the one who knows what she's talking about continue because it's not this guy. A complex process. The first step is design. And that alone can take years, even oh, wow. decades to develop a powerful chip. You need really? extensive research and development. The process is expensive and the path is not linear. Let's say you have an idea for a new chip, one okay. that can outperform all existing chips. But crazy. you need access to proprietary technology from another company. Mm. So your first step will be to approach them, that company, negotiate for access to the technology. And only then, only when you have the go ahead, can you start the design process. The next step is to manufacture the chip. And for that, you need a fabrication unit. Again, these factories are not easy to build. Building just one such unit can cost anywhere between 10 to 20 billion dollars. 10 to 20 billion? So the cost billion? can be prohibitive. 
Plus, there are several other... For a fabrication unit to design these chips can cost 10 to 20 billion dollars. It's crazy. Oh, my God. But first, you got to come up with a strong chip design, which could take years or decades, considering you may have a chip that can outperform every other chip. But before you can, uh, I guess, put that chip into work, you got to get uh, permission. You got to get permission to use proprietary tech if another company owns that tech. So you got to go through these hurdles and everything before you can actually, you got the chip. You, you know the process. You know what it's going to take. But you need their tech, so you got to go through all these hurdles and everything before you can actually put yours on the market or create your chip. The complexities involved, like accessing chip making machinery. There is mm. a small pool of companies which control the supply of these machines. Access oh. to raw materials is also a challenge, and all of this is clear to India. India realizes that this is a challenging task. It is trying to tackle all the challenges together yes. and leapfrog in the global chip race. India is offering more incentives to chip makers. Earlier, oh. the government had offered $10 billion. Now it is raising the amount of $15 billion. Yeah. That is in incentives. Okay. India is also changing some conditions. It wants to focus less on chip assembly and more on manufacturing. So mm. more incentives will be provided for raw materials, gases and chemicals, basically the stuff required to fabricate a chip. Oh. So that's one area of focus. The second part is securing the supplies and the know-how. Last week, Prime Minister Modi was in Singapore and he sealed a deal on semiconductors there. We are going very aggressively to semiconductor in the sector. Now, there are about five companies already have started their work. There are also other companies. And we are going to bring the whole ecosystem. We are not going to bring the whole ecosystem to a small piece of paper. We are not going to bring the whole ecosystem. Singapore. I love that. He said, we a the Modi is a ambitious. I'll tell you about that. Modi is absolutely ambitious, and I love that ambition because I believe it is that ambition that's got India to keep progressing to the country that they are today, and it's that ambition that will keep them pushing to be a powerhouse in the future. Um, I believe Modi's ambition rubs off on the rest of the country, on the rest of the citizens in the country, uh, and that ambition is real over there, and I absolutely freaking love that. Singapore is critical to India's plans. It makes 10% of the world's chips and around 20% of the semiconductor manufacturing equipment. Dang. Nine out of the top 15 chip makers have a presence in Singapore. From design to assembly Jeez. to fabrication, packaging and testing, even raw materials and manufacturing equipment, Singapore has all these areas covered. So it can be a valuable partner for India. Today, Very. India's semiconductor ecosystem is valued at around $20 billion. $20 okay. billion today. By 2028, it could cross $80 billion. So a oh, fourfold Lord. increase... In four years. That's the projection. Dang. This industry has tremendous growth potential and India has all the right ingredients to be a chip powerhouse. That's crazy to jump from 20 billion to 80 billion within a space of four years. I do completely agree. It has incredible potential for growth, insane potential for growth and getting in the semiconductor chip industry. I'm excited to see what India does with it. I, like I said, I love the ambition from India. And I think if anyone can can conquer this task, it is a country such as India. I feel like they're absolutely awesome, but only time will tell. And I'm excited to see what India does in the semiconductor chip industry. It seems like Modi's making all the right moves to put all the pieces in place. Now we just got to wait and see how the pieces fit together. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you guys happen to enjoy the video, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Get a video a thumbs up and check out the next one. I'll see you guys next time.